Hello, I am Pastor Brad Doty from St. Philip Lutheran Church, coming to you with our daily devotion, Living by the Spirit. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I pray that this day I may live in your presence and praise you more and more. Lord Jesus, I pray that this day I may take up my cross and follow you. Holy Spirit, I pray that this day I may, you may fill me with yourself and cause your fruit to ripen in my life. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Amen. Well, we begin our devotion this Monday with our new theme for the week of peace. And uh, our theme and topic for today is coping with anxiety. So our reading comes from Philippians, the fourth chapter. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to everyone. The Lord is near. Do not worry about anything, but in everything, in, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, beloved, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is pleasing, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence and if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Keep on doing the things that you have learned and received and heard and seen in me. And the God of peace will be with you. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. Well, what sorts of things brings you anxiety? What when has there been a time in your life where you have struggled with anxiety? Maybe it was a situation, maybe it was uh, an issue uh, within a life or a struggle or a pain or a sorrow, or as we talked about on Saturday, things that bring us, bring us down or give us uh, burdens uh, or wearies in our lives. Well, what does it mean then within that and that anxiety that we may have in our life to rejoice in the Lord always. That can seem really difficult at times, particularly when we do have those anxieties of our life. Well, prayer is the first and best thing that we can do to fight and have our defense over anxiety. Is that something we can truly do? For you, ask that question. Can I come to God with my anxieties and lay them at the foot of the cross, lay them at the feet of Jesus and give us peace within that? To have peace, that know, to know that God is with us and that he will help us through the anxieties of our lives, that everything will be okay. Well, it says to come to God in prayer supplication, thanksgiving, and requests. Prayer being an attitude of uh, how we come to God in a worshipful way. Petition of expressing a need. Thanksgiving of coming to God in thanks and praise for who God is and the blessings that God has blessed us with in the past. And then requests are those things that we're coming to God asking God for. Well, God said peace is not dependent on our figuring out our solution of what bothers us or dependent on our understanding of how God will help solve our problem. Because often it's beyond our comprehension of what God does and what God can do in our lives. And that's where we really have to lay them at the feet of Jesus and allow God to help us through our anxiety. Allow God to give us peace in our anxiety. 
So God calls us to keep doing what we are doing, to do those things that we learn to, to receive and hear God and know that we can uh, try and do our best to follow in the footsteps of Jesus as God lights our way, lights our path. May we do uh, as Jesus has done, as Jesus gave us the example. And when we do that, we will have uh, peace. It says that the God of peace will be with you. So let us lay our wearies, our burdens, our anxieties at the foot of the cross, allowing God to take them and allowing God to help us in those anxieties. Let us pray. Lord God, we want to be in control of our lives. We want to make sure that everything is okay and that uh, we can handle it ourselves. But Lord, we can't. We need your help. We need you in our lives. Lord, allow, may we allow ourselves to let you in, knowing that we can't do everything ourselves, but we need help. Lord, you are that help. May we come to you in prayer. May we lay our worries, our burdens, our anxieties at your feet, knowing that you will care for us, knowing that you will walk with us in those things that are causing those anxieties. Lord, help us to come to you and allow ourselves to be at peace, knowing that our anxieties are in your hands. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit fill you with love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Amen. Have a blessed day.